going to be able, um, once the person um, decides to put away the card, they can take uh, the picture off and use it as a bookmark. Everyone, as I said, um, we divided it into three, and you just have to separate the paper. Three. So I've got the paint. I've got um, a nice red. The um, I use the same colors all the time. The ultramarine blue and the bright yellow and uh, hooker's green. Just wetting them all down. I'm so they're just going to be really loose paintings. Okay, there. So I'm just going to wet them down. Yeah, that's nice. I've got to get a smaller paintbrush now. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. here and I am not painting fast enough it's already starting to dry I really do feel like I'm in slow motion today okay. let's add a little bit more water so I have some more working time. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit more blue. And there. I'm going to try and get a little bit of the hooker's green with the yellow. No, I don't like that. I don't like them mixed together. The colors are not nice. Let me try the phthalo blue with the green. I think it's phthalo blue. That's with the yellow. That's nicer. Okay. There. And much nicer. A little bit of green there, a little bit of landscape there. Um, there. Okay. Now, I think I would like a little bit of red in maybe one of them. So in this one, I did yellow flowers because there was just a touch of red in there and the predominant color was yellow. So in one of these, I'm going to add more red. And so I can make red water lilies instead. Or pinkish water lilies. Which one should it be? We'll do this one. going to add a little bit more yellow so we can have a nice contrast. This one too. Yeah. Yeah. It's already starting to look dirty. Okay, that's 
that's it. I'm going to leave these. I'm just going to clean this off. Add some water and get rid of that, what I just did, because it started to look too dirty. There. I just added water just to, there. That's it. So we're going to leave it, let it dry. Once it's dry, um, we're just going to puncture a hole in it um, with one of these and then put a ribbon through it and then we'll just put the flowers in and then add a little bit of white for contrast and maybe some green shrubs. That'll be it. Hi, I'm back. These are nice and dry now. So what I've done is I've added some white to my paper and to my palette, sorry. And I am going to add some white for the water lilies. Put one here and one there. Okay. So that's that one done. And I forgot to tell you, um, this one I didn't do it. Um, it looks better if it's against a darker color. So try and put them, uh, the background with the green or with a blue or something like that. It looks much better with a darker background. Let me see. Need one here. if at all possible. And then we'll do maybe one here. I'm not going to do red because red's kind of harsh. I'll do a sort of a light soft pink. I like texture so I don't mind if these are quite thick. There. I want to add just a little bit more of the darker blue up here. Maybe, oops, not such a good idea. I just touched uh, the pink. So that one's done. Now this one, 
we're going to be working with the yellow. too much water on my brush. With this one, I added a little bit of the French ultramarine blue just to give it a little bit more contrast because I didn't think there was enough contrast on here. And it's too dry, and you're not supposed to do this, but I'm going to, too wet, and I'm going to do it anyway. You're supposed to use your brush to take it off, but as I said before, I am in a rush today. So. need some more color just to sort of balance it off. Maybe here. Perfect. There. Just something in there. There's that one. Once that's dry, I think you should just put a little bit of white here and there. Good. Now I'm going to just add some white. A little bit more white. Now the yellow. going to do just a little bit of green my green paint's not wet enough that This one doesn't need it as much. I would suggest you use a thinner brush. holes in them. 